Hi, this is Paris Wolf teaching you cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment. The mod operator. The mod operator provides the remainder of an integer divide, and the mod operation often involves a prime. So this is a technique they use to help break encryption by identifying the prime number. So 17 mod 5, that's 17 divided by 5, which is 3, and giving us the remainder of 2. So what we're looking for is the remainder, because it's 5, 10, 15. So 17 minus 15 answers 2. 13 mod 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 13 minus 12 is 1, because the remainder is 1. 37 mod 11. 11, 22, 33. So 37 minus that 33 gives us a remainder of 4. So the answer is 4. You have to know how to do the mod. Now, shift operators, this is a technique that they know, or is defined as rotation, and is to help encrypt the data. And with this, the bit shift operators can be left or right. And so here we have the input, and they're shifting four to the right. And then this set over here is moving four to the left, and it just continues down. Random number generators, there's two different types. There's the pseudo random number generator. Um, it's very fast but it's deterministic, so if someone's trying to identify the random number, um, it's a lot easier for them. So they use this typically for simulation and modeling, and it's not like a true random number. While a true random number uh, is a real random process, and for example, it monitors the movements of a mouse on the screen or pauses between the keystrokes. The method is a lot slower, but it's a lot harder to determine what that random number is, and they use this in things such as gambling games.